Hello guys and welcome back. Update 3 is finally here and with it some massive changes to the game. So much so that there's no point in playing my old saves because the amount of work required to redo everything would literally take as many hours as I've already put into the game and that in itself is over 400 hours for our first save alone. So today we are starting a brand new Let's Play series where we will be creating the neatest dam factory we've ever built and explore all the new features of Update 3. So, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. But anyway, let's jump into the new Dune startup area. But do bear in mind, I'll be skipping most of the first part of the game so that we can get to the first space elevator tier and seriously sink our teeth into the game. So let's get started. Now, after a while of setting up some mini factories, pulling in the most basic of materials, so we have plates, rods and wire going on, we've even got cables now, um, not to mention the ever important concrete, I finally decided to start focusing on quickly completing both the hub goals and the first tier of items from the space elevator. Now this was a surprising struggle with the new recipe changes and the somewhat spaciously placed resource nodes in the early game in this dune start area it very much felt like a grind but not too much of a grind that it took away from the game just something that i needed to get it get through quickly for you guys now especially seeing as we had to rely a lot on hand fed biofuel generators and to be honest in the dune area there isn't that much foliage near my starting area but we did find a little area um, just a little bit out where we did some harvesting after tackling the foundations and setting up a nice area for our base and finally hitting the first space elevator tiers um, if you do want to see my guide on how to create the smart plating prior to unlocking underclocking the video is now in the top right hand corner currently for you guys um, but we have reached coal which means it's time to automate and go with the flow thanks to the new pipes which is what we shall be doing now now it's time to go in search of both coal and water ideally close to one another before automating power and then getting those resources sent to our soon-to-be mega factory so after half an hour of running about we found coal protected by alphas which is a certain no-go at this early point in the game and then after practicing our flying fox maneuvers we managed to find more coal but of a low purity which i'll be honest isn't great but it's a start and better yet there's water nearby and as you can see if we place the water extractor in the water we can then run the water all the way up to the coal power plant just having one of these will make a huge difference to our hand feeding generator efforts but i think we'll make a small power plant station here then have all the rest of the items that are spare sent to the mega factory so first up we're going to cover the floor with foundations and then we're going to also run the pipelines below the floor now do note to get the water this high up we do need to use pumps but that's not too much of an issue with our preparedness. Now we're placing the coal running from beneath the factory as well as feeding the parallel power plants in a manifold or overflow style. Now at this point you can see me jiggling about with the pipelines and the manifold trying to get it all to work perfectly. Now there's a lot that I can work on here. Now I do want this particular series to be very neat and beautiful but certainly in the beginning phase, the first few episodes, um, some things aren't going to be as beautiful, neat and crisp as I would ideally want, simply because we haven't unlocked the technologies such as the, uh, the walkways or um, various items and structures to really um, give this the beautiful look. I'd really like to add some windows here but we're gonna have to be doing that in say the next episode when we've unlocked more coupons which we are going to look into um, very briefly now you can see that I've been trying to get some but 
with the coupon machine or the item crusher the the more of the said items that you deconstruct the less coupons it produces which has been the bane of my life really because I've managed to unlock only the power cords which are very useful don't get me wrong they've made power um, the the cable management much neater but now I need to somehow raise enough coupons at this early stage in game to unlock the other really nice um, decorational structures and items um, so do bear with me on that but as you can see the finished product of the power plant um, looks all right it's very blocky with these walls that we've uh, kind of put around it and really I would like to use some kind of mod unfortunately I can't download them at the moment um, on my laptop but just to make it so that we could actually put a roof over these um, particular power plants um, whilst having the chimneys still showing but that's something that you can possibly do where I can't in this particular position but all in all we've now got a small power plant going um, which we've now connected to the main base which means we're now able to finish the episode at least feeling that we've done something but don't worry we're going to go into much more detail in the next video for example we're going to be trying to get some more um, item coupons we're also going to look at the space elevator a bit more as I haven't really covered that in this video and we're also going to work on the factory just in general creating some new items so there you are guys if you did enjoy this video um, please do drop a thumbs up and obviously if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe I'm sorry it's just a short one to get started I've tried to cram a lot in uh, but hopefully you get where we're going Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, until next time, as always, ciao for now.